Microsoft Excel has a new function out called the stock history function. Right now it is only available for Microsoft 365 users and only for people in the beta program. So you don't have this function yet. If you're a Microsoft 365 user, you'll have it soon. It is stock history and it is amazing. I'm Chris Menard. Let's go ahead and get a jump on how to do this. I'm going to combine stock history with another feature in Excel, data, the stock data type, because what I need first is the stock symbol. So I selected these companies that I typed in. I'm going to go click on stock and it converts them to the stock symbol. It even has that special icon. So now I can show you the stock history function. I'm going to start off with the company square, which is an A3. I'm going to start with the date January 1, 2017. And I'm going to leave the end date empty for right now. So here's our first example of it, and then I'll start tweaking it. So I'm going to do equals stock history. It appears to have a lot of arguments. These are all very simple. Okay, what stock do you want to see the stock history for? That's cell C2, comma. What start date do you want? Just so you know this, I'm going to end up referencing cell D2. But if you wanted to type it yourself, you would type it exactly the way I just did inside of double quotes. But I'm going to reference cell D2. I'm going to leave the end date, which is the third argument. I'm going to just leave that empty for now. Today is June 16th, so sh this should work through June 15th because it's going to show me the closing to price. How do you want to see this? I'm going to select daily, which is a zero. I'll come back and change it to monthly in a second. This is interesting. Do you want to see any headers? The answer is yes. So I'm going to do the number one for header. Now, the question is, okay, what headers do you want to see? Well, looking at those six items, because I've got date through volume, I want to see the date, I want to see the closing price, and I want to see the volume. I'm just making this up. I could pick all of them if I wanted to. So that's going to be a zero for the date, comma, the closing price is the number one, comma, and the volume. I would like to know how much volume. That is the number five. So if you recall, I said, show me right here, show me the headers. And I said, yes. So then I have three headers. So let's see if this works. When I press enter, I'm going to get a new message that says busy because it's going to figure this out. So I should see busy for just a second. That is amazing. Headers are date, close, and volume. Today is June 16th, 2020. So I hope it only runs through June 15th, 2020. That is the closing price and next to it is the volume. What's nice is you can tweak this. I come back up to the top. I'm going to change the start date to January 1. I'm going to make this July 1. I'm making this up 2016. I press enter. I should see busy again in cell C6. Because it's working on it. There it goes. The stock history function is up in the formula bar right now. It is a it is a dynamic array function. So if I come over here in column D and click around, notice the formula bar is grayed out. So you change everything right here. If I want to delete it, I just hit delete. But I'm going to bring it back. I don't want to delete it. If I change this from square, let's go with Microsoft. Busy. I do want to check that close price real quick. Double click. I went and checked this because I was I like to check my data. That was Microsoft's closing price yesterday. So that is correct. One more. I don't want to see this daily now. So here we go again back on the interval. We've got daily, weekly, and we also have monthly. I'm going to go with monthly, which is the number two. So instead of seeing this daily, I should see monthly. Perfect. July. August, September, October. So that is working. You can also go weekly. If by chance you didn't want to see the header information,
whoops, my bad. That is still monthly. The header information, which I put right here. I just want to show you what a zero does. Zero says no header. So there is a zero, no header. And the last one, since I just did that, if you decide you want to see If you want to see for the header, the number three, and it did. Anyway, that is the stock history function in Excel. And I also use the stock data type. I've got a video already on the stock data type. Thank you for your time. Hope you like that function. It should be coming to you soon if you have a Microsoft 365 account. Have a good day.